With the fifth pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Miami Dolphins select Tua Tungavaloa. give to a love two out there cooking I, I can't say i can't say anything he's doing what he's supposed to do Tua tonga vailoa is currently considered an mvp front runner for the season and he's more than just a player that benefited from a perfect system no his efficiency is at the upper echelon of quarterbacks in the nfl he's on track to have one of the best seasons ever by a quarterback who hasn't received much recognition for it but is Tua really that great Tua Tungavailoa's story began on March 2, 1998, in Eva Beach, Hawaii. Born into a family who loved playing and watching football, he was destined for greatness in the sport. It runs in the family. His father was a renowned high school coach while his brother Talia played as a quarterback. Tua's history with football ran deep from an early age. He was so into the sport so much that he slept with a football in his arm as a young child. He even joked that he was born with a football in his hands. His father, Nalu, was a man of conviction and recognized Tua's immense potential. Nalu introduced Tua to football when he was just two years old, instilling a left-handed throwing style in him despite Tua being a naturally right-handed person. The transition wasn't without its challenges, but young Tua understood that both his father's expectations and the edge of being able to throw on both hands would put him ahead of everyone. It was tough love from his father, with others saying it was more of an abuse than assistance. Just know that the belt was involved and other things were involved as well. And it's almost the same with school. If I don't get this grade, I'm gonna have to suffer the consequences, Tua said. While he was growing up, Tua's main source of inspiration was his grandfather, Seu Tongavailoa, known as Chief Tongavailoa in the local Samoan community. Seu held a special place in Tua's life. He believed in Tua's destiny as a football star, urging him to report his progress after every game. Despite moments of doubt and wanting to quit football after his grandfather's death, Tua chose to honor his grandfather's legacy by persevering in the game. High school marked the beginning of Tua's rise in football. In his debut year, he delivered an impressive performance with 33 passing touchdowns, just three interceptions, and 2,583 passing yards. As a sophomore at St. Louis, Tua's statures and skills continue to grow, catching the attention of Power 5 programs. His striking accuracy and natural ability became the talk of the town, with his coach Cal Lee expressing amazement at Tua's talent, saying in his 40 years as a coach, he had never seen anyone as great as Tua. In 2016, Tua played in the All-American Bowl and listed 2,669 passing yards, 27 passing touchdowns, and seven interceptions during the regular season. His performance earned him a spot in the Elite 11 roster, where he was named MVP. As a four-star recruit in 2017, Tua's name stood at the top of the list of high school prospects in Hawaii. He opted to go to University of Alabama in 2017, one of the 17 schools that called and offered him a scholarship. In his freshman year, Tangavailoa initially served as the backup to Jalen Hurts during the 2017 season. Nevertheless, he found himself on the field thanks to several landslide victories for the Tide. On September 9th, he made his collegiate debut against Fresno State at the iconic Bryant-Denny Stadium, where he finished with 6-9 passes for 64 yards, securing his maiden career touchdown with a 16-yard pass to the agile Henry Ruggs. However, the most unforgettable moment came during the 2018 college football playoff national, propelling Alabama to a historic 17th national championship. This was one of the most iconic games in recent history, and he was hailed as the offensive MVP because of it. As the 2018 season began, Tonga Vailoa was inserted into the starting role, and he made an emphatic debut against Louisville. He completed 12 of 16 passes for 227 yards and two touchdowns in a resounding 51 to 14 victory. He went on to be their starting quarterback in the following games. Despite finishing as the Heisman runner-up behind Kyler Murray at the end of the season, Tonga Vailoa clinched the Walter Camp Award and the Maxwell Award for 2018, both titles for the top player in college football. One of his crowning, there he completed 26 of 31 passes for 336 yards and four touchdowns. However, an untimely high ankle sprain during the game against Tennessee changed the trajectory of the season for him and the team. Despite undergoing surgery to repair the injury, 
Tonga made a return and played in the game against LSU, but a dislocated hip, broken nose, and concussion were hard injuries to play through. In January 2020, Tua made the decision to forego his senior year and declare for the 2020 NFL Draft. His legacy at Alabama includes setting a record with more touchdown passes than any Crimson Tide quarterback, surpassing even A.J. McCarron. He had a completion percentage of 69.3%, and despite injuries, he delivered 43 TD passes in 2018 and 33 in 2019, marking two of the most prolific seasons by any quarterback in the history of the University of Alabama. He also set a national single-season passing efficiency record and had the highest career touchdown percentage. Knowing that he had trained to pass the ball his whole life, it became no doubt that speed and accuracy became muscle memory. I remember two years ago when we played him, my first recollection of his first pass, it was the quickest release I'd seen in 35 years of football. Now you can practice it, but until you see it, it's something else, LSU's Ed Orgeron said. To his journey in the NFL began with high expectations. Projected as the potential first overall pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, he faced a significant setback due to a season-ending injury, allowing Joe Burrow to emerge as the draft's top prospect. Tonga Vailoa was then selected fifth overall by the Miami Dolphins. Tonga Vailoa's popularity was undeniable, especially to the Miami management. Dolphins owner Steven Ross attended numerous Alabama games during the 2019 season, often accompanied by Greer. Team President and CEO Tom Garfinkel also joined them to watch the Crimson Tides game against Michigan. He fit a lot of criteria that we talk about at the quarterback position. Good player, good person, leadership qualities. We're very happy with this pick. We felt very comfortable that he'd be a good fit here, Coach Brian Flores said. Miami had been Tonga Vailoa's desired choice since he declared for the NFL draft. The biggest thing is whoever decided to take a chance on us, whoever decided to pick us, that's where we belong. His NFL debut in week six of his rookie season was a normal start. He came in relief for Ryan Fitzpatrick against the Jets, throwing two passes for nine yards during a 24-0 victory. However, this marked the start of a challenging season for the Dolphins, as they missed the playoffs for the fourth consecutive year. During his sophomore season, Tua faced both injuries and some moments of dominance. A rib injury in week two against the Buffalo Bills briefly sidelined him, but he returned from injury in week six, facing the Jacksonville Jaguars. In his first game back, he displayed his potential by completing 33 of 47 passes for 329 yards with two touchdowns and an interception. Although the Dolphins lost that game, his performance made clear that his determination wasn't going away. The turning point came when Tua entered the game against the Baltimore Ravens and started an upset with his precise passes and a rushing touchdown, resulting in a 22-10 victory. Momentum was built and the Dolphins went on a seven-game winning streak marking their first since 1985. Despite this resurgence, they were eliminated from playoff contention for the fifth consecutive year. Tua's progress continued to the 2021 season when he led the Dolphins to their first sweep of the rival Patriots since 2000. With 2,653 passing yards, 16 passing touchdowns, 10 interceptions, 42 carries for 128 yards, and three rushing touchdowns, he ended the season on a positive note. The 2022 season brought changes for the Dolphins as they parted ways with head coach Brian Flores and welcome Mike McDaniel. Tua started the season with a strong victory over the Patriots, maintaining his undefeated record against Belichick. His performances even put him in the highest place of the fan votes for the 2023 Pro Bowl, then came to being named an AFC Pro Bowl first alternate later on. The season continued, and Tua led the Dolphins to clinch the AFC's final playoff berth which marked their first playoff appearance since 2016. However, Tua faced setbacks due to multiple concussions causing him to miss out on games. By the end of the regular season, he had thrown for 3,548 yards, 25 touchdowns, and eight interceptions. On March 20, 2023, the Dolphins made a move by securing Tonga Vailoa's future with a fifth-year contract option. In his first press conference since December 2022, Tonga Vailoa opened up about the thought of retirement that had crossed his mind during the offseason. The 2022 season had taken a toll on him due to injuries, but he ultimately chose to stick with it, a decision that now seems to be paying off in the 2023 season. As of right now, Tonga Vailoa's performance is on an upward motion, a steep upward motion. As we approach the halfway point of the 2023 season, 
Tagovailoa's performance made him a standout MVP candidate that left no doubts about his impact on the Dolphins. For the second consecutive year, he's burst onto the scene, injecting life into Miami's offense. When healthy, Tonga Bailoa has consistently ranked among the league's top performing quarterbacks since the start of 2022. Despite dealing with multiple concussions and missed time last year, his recent 17 game stretch is similar to a full season where he threw for an impressive 4,685 yards, 32 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions, all while maintaining a passer rating of 107.0. To put it in perspective, Pat Mahomes, the star of the Chiefs, and the 2022 MVP, had statistics of 41 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, and a 105.2 rating. With the Dolphins' strong offensive performance, led by Tonga Vailoa's ability to read the field, execute on third downs, and maintain balance, they are emerging as a force in the AFC. As of now, Tua Tonga Vailoa's trajectory is on the rise, showing his potential to become a polished and dominant NFL quarterback. He's the MVP, Tyreek Hill said. So, is Tua Tonga-Vailoa really as great as the hype suggests? The answer to that question may be a matter of perspective. His journey from a small town in Hawaii to the NFL has been remarkable, and his college success is undeniable. With each season, he continues to develop and improve. Tua Tonga-Vailoa is undoubtedly a promising quarterback in the league, but whether he reaches the status of greatness is a story that's still unfolding. The future is bright for this young quarterback, and his legacy in the NFL is yet to be written. So let's keep an eye on his journey, as he strives to make his mark as one of the league's greats.